Hello and welcome back, Jean-Pierre Vasquez bends your ear, playing some more Borderlands 2, Commander Lilith, and the Fight for Sanctuary DLC. So far a ton of fun, I mean, being in this world is fun by itself, but having a new storyline is really cool, I'm glad to be able to gain experience, and it'd be really neat by the end of this DLC to have gotten to level 65. So we are on our way to the Burrows. Um... What is this? Okay, so this looks a little macabre. I'm gonna jump out. I probably could just shoot bad guys, but what's the fun of that? So what I'm gonna do is throw a couple of these bad boys. And just, again, I want to build up as much, um... Uh, like stacks of different kinds of damage. But at this rate, it's not going so well. <laughs> Even the lunatic is doing so much damage. And I, for some reason, I thought that my... My shield... Oh yeah, I switched shields. So my shield just lets me do more damage when my shield is down. The one I had was when they attacked me. Uh, it would do... Or when they do melee damage, it would cause... Uh, like spikes or something but uh, that's not the case <laughs> so I really like being able to like whittle them down or at least get their shield down and then switch and get all my life back as I kill them yeah so it does seem that the way that I've updated things it's I'm doing a lot more damage than I had been melee wise and I'm so glad because Sirens call okay, so this has to be something for the next game uh, bigger is better 300 pounds of Bempen Okay, so I can't pick that up which is fine um, definitely want to explore just a little bit. I don't know if they'll end up having any kind of Easter eggs in this DLC. Probably there is, and I've already <laughs> missed some. But, uh, it's, again, really cool to be able to explore and try and figure out what's going to go on at the next place. So, am I going to get electrocuted? Okay. Oh, and tell the sandworms I said... <laughs> so it's <laughs> it says scram but we're gonna go into the burrows this game I've it has to be at the very least top five games now I know a lot of people don't like this but I do also watch games and then end up end up not buying them so that's probably a lot of companies fear that you'll watch a game and not play it but if it's on another system, like if it's on PlayStation, I know that I'm not going to play it. He's got our test tubes in a centrifuge. That's, that's pretty good. Ah, just waiting for them to finish talking. Okay, so something dropped, so I'm going to check it out. And then something big shook everything, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. Where are these things coming from? Give me just a second. Is there someone there? Almost sounded like someone was knocking. Okay, so what did that explosion do? I'm not quite sure. So let's see. Driven Reaper, 90,000. Might as well go ahead and just keep it. Um, but yeah, between games that I've watched and played, this would still be like top five games. Um, just so much replayability, just a really, really fun game. Oh yeah, let me throw one of those bad boys and then just spray them down with as much damage as I can. You see how much damage it's supposed to be doing and they're just not dying. 
Yeah, this continuous uh, corrosive damage is just beautiful. I love watching them just light up green. Let's throw another one of these and uh, see if we can get some life back. At this point, just standing far back, shooting willy-nilly is really all I, I need. Just to get a... Oh! Again, to just get that life back. Uh, so let's throw one of these here. I know they're going to end up going from place to place. Mm, sandworm. Okay, so I sort of want them to line up. So... Every shot really will end up counting. They're coming after me all in a row. Sort of. Yeah. This is sort of what I wanted. But if they fight each other, that's even better. Okay. So now that all my ducks are in a row, try and shoot them quickly. Man, how are they not dying? Again, they need to be slagged because, as you can see, they're not taking that much damage. Very good. Explosions! Oh man, those Novas are so good. Yes! Oh my god, that's so awesome. I actually had not noticed that it was doing that much damage. So I'm very... Oop. So you know what? If I have to reload, I might as well make them take some caustic damage. It's cool that it, they're actually taking that much damage damage uh, from those explosions like I said the more bad guys oh snap that are grouped together the better it is for me I sort of was hoping to just yeah, be able to activate this I knew I was getting oh no I was getting life back but I was hoping to be able to kill them wow that was like a million damage I don't see where they're at. I hope today finds you well. For me, it's like back to... Is this a pearl? Oh, it's a toothpick. I had seen something about that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got to go ahead and try that. Um, I had heard that that was supposed to be a really good drop. So, toothpick. Uh, 50,000 times 2, pretty good. So, 100,000 damage. 100% accuracy, fire rate, and eh, could be way better. Reload speed and eh, magazine, pretty good, especially with me being able to stack. 20,000 burn damage, a simple solution to a dire problem. Burst fire while zoomed, six ammo per shot. Oh, where are you? Where are you? I know you're. Oh, so it's like a wave. Okay, so I really like that, but for me, I don't think it's worth using it on such a simple bad guy. But I know that's going to be really good when we have a, a really strong bad guy. That is so cool! I never thought that I'd actually get that awesome job. I maybe should have kept it slag, but there we go. Oh, that is so neat. I love... Oh my god, it looks so flippin' cool. That is really cool. I almost feel like it's a taste of the next game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what is this? I, I actually did that by accident. <laughs> um, so no matter what, the infected pods will always drop a sapling? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm not too worried. They, they're wanting me to go in there. I don't really plan on going in there. You can't make me. Oh, yeah, I gotta stack the damage. Yeah, this has to be one of my favorite guns. Like, I think it looks cool. Getting life back is cool. The way it shoots is awesome. That it does fire damage is all around really neat. It does seem though like I'm getting little low on shotgun damage. So let's go ahead. No! <laughs> so let's go ahead and just kill these guys. How though? I don't understand how they can be taking that much damage. Like I'm doing like a million damage and they're just not dying. 
Uh, I guess let's make the most of this, see if there's any bad guys. Oh, oh there is something here. Might not be worth it. Oh, run, 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 run. That was not good. So how many rounds do I have? Not that many. Let's see if there's anything in these boxes. Hopefully I'll get a few rounds back. Yeah, that's pretty good. What is this one? So I have two fire weapons. I I don't think it's worth it despite um, it giving me some life back. So I'm actually going to switch. Did I get rid of that shotgun? I don't think I did. So this one does 130,000 if they all hit. And then this one does 250,000 if they all hit. Uh, the critical damage on, on the one I was using is better. But I'll go ahead and uh, switch things up just a little bit. Yeah, so we'll start this. I guess it's gonna be oh fudge. Okay. Um see this is what I was waiting for. I feel the crimson. He is taking a lot of damage, I think. <laughs> this gun is pretty amazing. I'm gonna throw another one of these just to make sure I need to get this kill. Did I get the kill? I'm not quite sure. You see that they're barely taking any damage. But anywho, I'm definitely needing to slag them just to make sure they take as much damage as I can. And ho ho hopefully they'll start, uh, yep. Slowly, they're blowing each other up. So, what do we have here? Can't do anything. Oh, that's for a different class. That's one of those things that I should be saving it. But for me personally, there's only so many hours in the day. And I, I just cannot, uh, like, replay these games over and over. Especially this one, that I've already replayed it over and over. It's like, I'm going to stick with the characters that I like. Um, I need more ammo, especially with this one, since this is the one that uh, I'm sort of depending on to make sure that everyone goes down more quickly. Oh, so we have a checkpoint here, and that means scary things will happen. So I'm about to go deeper into the burrows, but first, let me take a selfie. So I can go up, or I can go down. I guess I'm going to go up and see there's there are any goodies. I'm really hoping for just like a chest or something. Like that, like a weapons one. Uh... So it can be down. Okay. Oh, it's brick. Crushing it. Heck yeah. Alrighty. So I am trying to look around just a little bit. Uh, Oh, so I can zip straight here whenever I might want to. That's pretty good. I'm just going to open a couple of these boxes. Uh, hopefully I won't die in here. Oh, no. Please, 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 please. I don't want to die with something so simple. Okay, very good. I'm trying to think, should I go from the top? I might as well go from the bottom now that he's here. I don't even know what I'm looking at looking at okay 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 so electricity here's a wire uh okay so i'm following the wire it goes that way maybe i could go up top and then i have to drop down so let's take a look at that very very cool i i was asking for for a weapons drop uh, and hopefully this is the way to do it. Hmm, I don't think I can jump on this thing. No. Okay, I hear the electricity. How far up will it be? Okay, so I have better vantage point from over here. So the wire... Wow. Huh. I got bones with your leadership 
stop. But as long as Marty's in trouble, I'm on the team. Nothing else to say. Oh, that's pretty I'll good. Leave you to it. Do what you do best, Frick. So if I come around, I don't think I can jump. I might have to come around. Let's see. Oh, okay. So they have this here. Very good. Uh, that's part of this game, too, is just that little little bits of discovery and trying to get those really good weapons and doing whatever it takes to get them. These weed whackers. This reminds me of Hateful Eight. Something, something bush whackers. Alrighty. Oh, so there's a little area to go into. Oh, so they make it poison. So as soon as I destroyed it, oh okay, I thought I got rid of everything, but what I what it did was just I walked in. Uh, okie dokie. So, like I said, there's really no rush with what I'm trying to do, which is pl have fun with this game. <laughs> and um, so whatever we can collect and make. Um, get out of this DLC I really want to go ahead and do that on the first try it's kind of sad to say because it's like I think I don't know if I'd really come back to the game after this point um, I do come back to the game every so often to level up just a little bit find new things because that's always really fun but I think I've sort of reached the point to where like when the third game's third game comes out I'll just put all my my emphasis or all my time into that so we have 90,000 oh my stuff is full so they're mostly over a hundred thousand and this is already well the road roid damage isn't as good as only 70,000 70,000 45,000 I have two vitality ones 20 7.6 and 29.2 did I get rid of the right one I did get rid of the white right one 146 90 94 I do have an assassin so I'm gonna pick those up first and then we'll see what happens I see why now they they give you the opportunity to leave because they don't want you to have to leave guns that you might like but I'm not like I said I don't really plan on playing this for like dozens of more hours after this so I'll probably just end up selling the stuff and if I ever come back be able to buy it I, I think I was looking at how much time I put into these games and it's easily hundreds of hours it's... oh wait 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 where did you come from I need to stop doing that to myself. Uh, already dropping guns. Why aren't you fighting for me? So this gun is okay, you know? It's one of those things, I prefer the other gun, but it, I don't think it's a huge deal um, if I use one or the other. And I really need to start focusing on on my melee. It's a melee build and I'm sitting here trying to not uh, use melee because it means getting close. Oh no, somebody killed him for me. See, that is an issue. Okay. I think that's my only gripe with this game. Like, this is my biggest gripe from I think the very first playthrough is when someone else takes your kill and there's no way for you to come back. Um, there was one guy that I sort of could see, and I could have maybe used my rocket launcher, but I don't think it, I, from where he was hiding, oh, so I'm getting experience for his kills? See, that I don't mind, but I wish that it would have brought me back. Like, you get experience, but then you don't, I, I don't know, <laughs> you don't come back, I don't quite understand. So what does this actually do? Nothing really that, ooh, purple? Uh, so it's a catch a ride. Let's go ahead and just use that customization and make the most of it. Um, 
Yeah, go ahead and break it down, and then I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'll go ahead and explore a little bit, see what else I might find. I, I'm not really hurting for money. I'm not really hurting for anything. I just need maybe a little bit of a uh, little bit of ammo, but I don't think it's a big deal. Part of me is like, does okay. So we have a couple of different things going on here. We have this area over here that looks like a box. Nope, I thought it was one of the weapons caches. But we do have like a weird section to go through. It wants me to follow Brick, but at the same time it has this thing. Uh, I'm going to look at the map. Yeah, it's in the perfectly opposite direction. So you know I got to check it out. Oh, oh, okay. So, Oh, so once we do our stuff, it'll let me go there. Don't go there <laughs> yet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I knew there had to be something. Alrighty. Oh my gosh. So let's take a look at this. So it's another freaking fire weapon that does a lot more damage than this one. Okay. So we probably will end up dropping a couple of things. Um, probably weapons. Yeah, I don't even know why I have either of these. This is looking, you know what? I don't think I'll ever use that. Pointless. See, I have this just in case I run out of shotgun rounds. Uh, 164,000 is a little bit too high to pass up. Okay, so I still have this one. Oh, man. So let's compare. So, man, so 37,000 more damage. You know what? really isn't all that great so I'm gonna switch that out for now I'm gonna drop just a couple of more things uh, Torg yeah I'll drop that this grenade I probably wouldn't use it anyway and we do have we have a blue gun slag enemies it's 90,000 I'm definitely gonna use it this one it's fire, but I think I'm going to go ahead and switch for now because it just looks so darn cool. And I think it'll, well, it does do more damage than my other fire weapon, so we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, uh, 86,000. It's like, I really like these TDR guns, but I'll just go with the more expensive one. Alrighty. I feel like we haven't done too, too much in this episode. But uh, I'm hoping that maybe we can get, we'll end up seeing something really cool pretty soon. Okay, Brick, you are leading the way, but dang, dude, you're far. Oh, man, I'm glad I looked down. See, this is what I was hoping for out of this DLC. Uh, 52, 50, 59... It was fun to open. Oh gosh, which side do I need to be on? What? It was part of that too is like that loot feeling of like you there's and it could be anything in there and you open it and something neat. Okay, so what's going on over here? Uh, where did he go? I guess I'm going to... I keep following him, but then it says the thing about the shields. Oh, he wants me to do it. Okay. I understand now. I do all the... Oh, they're both fire weapons. Uh, despite them being both fire weapons, that... the What's it called? Not the tweezers. The toothpick is so strong... That I'd probably switch to it anyway. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, it bounces around? Oh no, there's like an explosion. Uh, where is he? Auto cannon. Let's see if I can destroy this real quick. Unless there's someone behind me. Okay, so this is a little bit daunting. Let's. 
Oh, this gun is actually really cool, but I need this guy to die quickly. He's not dying quickly. Oh, what bad luck. Please, 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 please. Heck yeah. Come back, come back, come back. Heck yes. Oh my gosh. This is going crazy. See, having all these little people around here, these uh, bad guys, makes it a lot easier. Okay, so this thing I can actually probably take out with that. And let's throw this here and hope for the best. Oh, I need to reload. Oh my gosh. Please? I'm pressing as many times as I can to try and get this activated. Yeah, so it's going okay. Where are you? Very good. Give me all your life. This thing is very slowly. Oh, okay, so that's gone. Very good, very good. So this button just happens to appear after I kill everyone. Okay, so real quick, let's go ahead, reload everything, destroy the generator. I'm just going to poke it a couple of times. <laughs> well, I did not think I would take electric damage, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay, so, so far so good. I'm glad I was able to come back decently quickly. How far is this? Oh, already here, big baddies. What do I have? Four child grenades upon detonating. They each do more damage. They seek and they steal health. I'm going to try it and hope it goes okay. So let's do this, this, okay, die faster please, what, oh it resisted, yeah I really can't use all of that, okay so now I know that I need to be using corrosive and I know just what to use. I'm going to use the shotgun. I actually have a pistol. You know what? Let I'm not using any pistols right now. So let's go ahead and uh yeah. I'm seeing red. I'm just backing up, giving myself just a little bit of space. And hopefully like those grenades will be putting in work while uh I put in some work. Oh, yeah, and they're giving me life back, so even better. Oh, he's not dead. I absolutely thought he died. So I'm going to throw one of these willy-nilly. Okay, I, I still haven't decided how I feel about this. But um, I think it's for the best to still slag them. <laughs> It's like, now I want the fire damage. <laughs> and then I ran out of, uh... Or I had to reload. It's like, no! It's like, I wish I had, like, access to all my guns all the time. Oh, yes! Keep on exploding. Where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> These back-to-back, -back, um... Getting my powers back is so awesome. He, he should be dead. Let me hear those yeah, very, very good. Just gotta freaking beat everything to death. Uh, this guy... Oh no, please don't run away either. Very, very good. Like, having... It's really important, obviously, to be at 100% life. Um, and I can't take any, any chances. Okay, so this I can't reload. This I'm gonna reload. I guess I don't need the caustic damage now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to doing the fire damage. I can't hardly see. Yeah. Which one is it? Very good. Ah, oh, man. Of course, I switched from the caustic damage, and I need it. I'm just gonna throw a couple of these. 
and just see what ends up happening. So this does a decent amount of damage. Um, I do think that uh, it uses a little bit too many bullets, but it's not a big deal. Is it on fire? It should blow up. Oh no, a sliver of life left. Very good, very good. Yeah. I, I gl I'm glad that they set this up to be more fun than difficult. <laughs> I think they're sort of anticipating too that a lot of people haven't played for a little while and are just like coming back and having to learn the mechanics and stuff like that. I think. Okay. Keep smashing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess I gotta run up. Can I jump? Oh no. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot it from here. How much damage would this do? Can I kill it in one shot? That thing is awesome! Okay, so I hear gunfire. Okay, so he's already killing a few. Uh, I'll throw a grenade in there. Maybe not. I might not just waste anything if he's doing everything on his own. Yeah, with him being slagged, there's no reason for like me to even take a chance that I'm going to get hurt. Um, spawns a number of child grenades that seek enemies and steal health. More damage. You know what? This might be better because one of my issues are the, the shields that people have. So it might be kind of good to use that for now. So we'll keep on... You know what? This might actually be a pretty good stopping point. I didn't realize we're already about halfway in. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more like it in the future, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. Thank you so much for stopping by. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.